So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're in Call of Duty World War II, and we're talking about the new headquarters glitch, and how you can increase your social score just by being in there. Now, you do get kicked after 30 minutes, but I'm going to show you how to get around that. So drop a like on this video if you do go on to learn something, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea in your head, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now this glitch will not be around forever. This is a very limited time only one, so get your hands on it while you can. Right now, while everything in zombies is glitched out to the max, and we all know it. I'm ranked 21 currently. I'm not in a hurry to get this thing done, but what I am in a hurry to do is to get my social rank up and just get that out of the way. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and what you got to do to make that happen. You got to have a supply drop. Doesn't matter which one it is, it can be a rare or a common standard, it doesn't matter. But you're going to have to throw it down and I would recommend this patch of grass right in front of spawn and headquarters, okay? Anywhere in here is pretty good, but what you're going to do is you're going to drop the supply drop. This asshole is right in my way for where I wanted to do it. So, we're going to drop it down and when it pops up Based on what you get, you might want to decide to get another supply drop and throw it down, but the name of the game is to convince people to commend you based on the loot that you got. So, if you have really crappy loot, people might see that and just move on, but if you got something juicy, and I mean juice, people are going to stop by and be like, oh damn, I'm going to commend this guy, I'm going to throw it down. So that's what we're focused on, and over time, you will see that you're getting commended, and if you keep this thing rolling overnight, you will have people rolling in continuously throughout this headquarters. As they end matches, they join your lobby, they're going to stop by, and if you got good loot on there, they're going to be like, crap, I better commend this dude. And so that is the glitch right now. Currently, it will not kick you out of the headquarters lobby at this current time, post-patch 106. Now if you're curious as to the rate at which you're going to get commends, I would say based on my results, you might get two or three every five minutes. Based on how people are rolling into your headquarters, that's going to be the odds that you're rolling the dice with. So I would say about two or three every five minutes, and that's going to vary depending on how your lobbies go. But this is a great way to get your social score up before we talked about how you would just greet players as they entered the lobby and that would be how you would convince them to do it. That's what I did in my first video. And I'll have that link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But what the research is showing right now is that you're going to have better results pulling out a supply drop and people coming in and commending you and holding the lobby throughout the night. Of course, you're going to have the highest score on the leaderboard here in your HQ, but that's to be expected. You're going to come across a lot of lobbies actually with people having supply drops out and they're just chilling. This is a method for getting commended and it's one that exists out there and it's about to become very popular. I do know there's one other glitch where you kind of glitch into the wall by the scoreboard but if you want a more natural looking one just pull out a supply drop and hang out. People are going to commend you more so than just another player in there doing emotes. However, there is certain emotes that stick out and will get you commended faster. But this I have had really good results with so I would recommend just pulling out a good supply drop if you get a crappy one, you might just want to re-roll it with another supply drop in case you got two or three. Which usually if you do a couple of those orders, you can uh, get two or three a day easily. So that's exactly what I would do right now, at least until this is fixed. You're going to gain a lot more social score and be ahead of the game when everyone else uh, is going to have a harder time doing this. But as of lately, there hasn't been a ton of zombie changes in Call of Duty World War II Zombies, and Sledgehammer has addressed this. We will talk about that towards the end of the video. But they've addressed that there are issues that they haven't looked into yet, because they have been focusing on multiplayer, and that is something that we all know is going on. Their primary focus is multiplayer. A lot of people come to play the MP version. But the zombies community over here has been suffering for a month with terrible supply drop glitches, and terrible prestige glitches that happened based on the last update of 106. I've been hearing you guys. That's why I've been doing all those polls and I've been starting polls on my community tab as well. So you might be seeing polls in your feed, you might be seeing news updates in your feed. Something that I sent up to Sledgehammer personally was some zombie updates I think that need to be added. Let me know if you guys agree in the comment section below. I think we need weekly, monthly bounties, high-end rewards, new character customization, we already have the helmet and MP, 
with headquarters, but why not in zombies? I think we need a chest piece and leg armor to get into the loot system. Rank progression bar in the select menu in game. We can't see our rank when we push start, but I don't want to push start and pause the game. I want to actually just hit the select button to check my rank. So additional menu currency called keys like we had in Infinite Warfare. When they have Raven tokens and unlock tokens, it's not keys, okay? That element's missing where we earn these crates, zombie supply drops. We don't have that. We need permanent unlocks, shared MP item that allows all attachments to be unlocked. I think that should be the key item with bringing permanent unlocks into zombies. Prestige rewards, I think we need heroic quests for weapons, man. That's what I think needs to happen for prestige rewards. Bring in the quests that we can get new weapons for, and that will definitely improve the end game grind. Weapon build kits, we need to reverse how attachments unlock. We need them XP based, we don't need them by rank based, you know what I'm saying? We need weapon XP. The after action report bonus, we need additional common supply drops earned via death. So as you die in the game, that's what spawns a supply drop, because your odds of getting something good suck anyway, so bring in a standard supply drop for zombies upon every death as you end the game, so it's worth it. On the flip end of that bonus, I think the rank progression that we get zombie supply drops at, those should be bundles of supply drops, not single rewards. The featured playlist, there should be a monthly event introducing either a new game mode or something. Put it in beta form. We'll actually support that, okay? So even if you think it's a failure, we can tell you. Do a poll in-game. We can tell you what we liked and didn't like. The end-game grind is also something I'm concerned with. They should add time-based quests for limited time gear. This could include limited weapons that you can only get if you do these certain quests, heroic or epic quests, but that will extend the endgame grind. However, when we're going to look at actual things that could become real, I did send those fixes up, so they are aware. However, Sledgehammer did officially respond to this man, did you guys fix the zombies prestige freeze glitch? And so they are aware of it, they're looking into it currently. The one, the Mac Daddy that everyone's interested in, was over on a Reddit post that I saw regarding the supply drop issue experience after prestiging. This is the one that's given everybody the gripe. If you've prestiged at all, you're not getting supply drops. And some people who are in public lobbies are rarely reporting that they're getting them. So it's very odd, it's very random. Sledgehammer has acknowledged that it's a thing. Enough people have sent footage in of this for them to know, hey, we need to fix this. And so that's where we are today. So with the game of Call of Duty World War II Zombies being out an entire month, I've used a lot of the weapons, and I gotta say my favorite one, mixing between multiplayer and zombies, has gotta be the greaser gun. This gun has the best feel, in my opinion, and even in PvP, this thing just rocks and shreds people. Now, I'm a hardcore fan, I do play a lot of hardcore, so when you see me out in the field plowing away, odds are, I'm hardcore getting it in, getting it done. And, uh, yeah, so I got gold on my 1911, and this is something that I've been going for for like four days, getting headshots with that was a damn nightmare. But we got through it. Now I want to get a Kimbo in Zombies, but since attachments are rank based and they're not XP based with weapon rank, so I, I have a long way to go yet. I'm only like rank 23 after this game that you're seeing now. And so I have to get to like rank 43 in order to unlock a Kimbo. And that's how attachments are going to work throughout this entire season pass. It sucks. Everyone hates it. But 100% from what I've noticed, it's the small things that matter, man. And we're used to those small things being perfected from very professional companies like Treyarch and Infinity Ward at the very end tale. But something new that I came across, which might be partially responsible for all the corruption and microtransactions that we're seeing, is something called Agenda 21 that's been put out by the United Nations and its goals is to end things like poverty, hunger, and disease all by 2030 worldwide. You heard it right. And this is about the currency that might be changing. So if you guys aren't ready for this, it's not your fault, but it's actually happening on the world stage and we might be seeing a one world currency soon, but who knows? This, I'm just keeping my eyes open to it and I read through what Agenda 21 actually is. I highly recommend you go check it out for yourselves because it's affecting a majority of the countries out there and you might be affected as well in the upcoming future. So I just want you guys to be prepared. I want you to survive and most importantly, be informed. Now I'm not here to preach anything political ever, okay? However, if it's going to inform you on a big scale where you might be in danger, hell yeah, I'm going to give you that information because at least I got a platform where I can reach some of you guys. So 
that's what I'm here. I'm here to look out for you guys and as well give you the news updates that you need in Zombies. We got a new patch on the horizon and I'll be sure to get you those notes as soon as I can. But for till then, you guys keep classy and I'll see you out there. Violent out.